On January 20th, Belarus will stage its national selection for Eurovision 2017. There are 13 songs. Is it an unlucky number? Let's discuss. Are you guys ready? Let's do it! Misha, Mikhail, you are in the Czech Republic. Why don't you kick us off with your number three? My number three is Nuteki with Take My Heart. Take my heart, take it all. All I have, all I know has led me here. I have no fear. I am yours. I think it's a great energetic song. It's a bit rocky. It gives, uh, gives me some feeling to move. And I, I really like it. And I know that Nuteki have a huge following in Belarus and uh, all over the Russian-speaking countries. Uh, so I think uh, they have high chances to win the televoting. Uh, my number three is Nikita Hodas with Voice in My Head. Like most of the Belarusian contestants there, English is not so good, so I can't tell what they're singing or what the lyrics are about, but I like the melody of this song. Um, it's really simple, it's really like, you, you, it's easy to listen, but again, when you uh, finish the song, you really can't remember most of it. I think uh, this has potential, maybe with Reaper Beauty Ramp, it would be even better, but for now it's my number three, and I, I wouldn't be mad if it won the selection, but I can't see it winning, just because, uh, even there's only 13 songs, I can't see people remember the, the song after all the songs have been performed. It's funny you say that. So he's also my number three. I don't remember the chorus at all. I just remember him saying in broken English, it was biggest moment of life, dream on subway. I don't know if it's poetry. I don't know if he's imitating Serhat, imitating a na native English speaker. I just know I really like it. It's kind of different. His voice is very Ed Sheeran wispy obviously not ed sheeran's pronunciation <laughs> but in terms of like the feeling and the mood and he, the guy seems like a character like you know you don't go up at eurovision and start reading poetry but, but that's what he's trying to do and it's just it's different and it, it, it's not belarusian do you know what i mean because often with belarus we get the same kind of generic pop songs this is just out of left field and in a weird way it sounds more mainstream i think he's likable i think he's attractive I think this is surprising. Needs a major revamp and a melody, but if they can give it a melody, better production and keep his kookiness, this could surprise. Misha, number I think, two. Uh, I think uh, Nikita Kodos is kind of similar to France in a way, from Sweden. Yeah. Yeah. True. They have the same kind of like, they, yeah, they don't really sing. With dream appealing to the audience. Yeah, so. chit chatty. It's like we're talking. Yeah. And I'm gonna try to sing a little, but we can keep talking while I do that. <laughs> okay, uh, my number two is Navi. I absolutely love their spirit. I absolutely love uh, the energy they're giving. It just go be happy and uh, discover the world and fulfill your dreams and it's just out there and it makes me feel feel good it's such a song for uh, I you probably won't find it in charts or somewhere but it's a song that when you will hear it you will instantly smile and go on and it will probably make your day. And so. you'll go on saying, hey, hey, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, um, yeah you instantly after. remember it. Yeah, <laughs> people will remember it. I, I do think that till uh, at the very end, this hey, 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 yeah, 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 gets a bit repetitive, but maybe it's a good thing. Yeah. Um, for me, the hey, hey part is so annoying, even after the first time I heard I was like oh god I don't want to hear it again and it just kept on going and going and going and I for me the song as a fan of commercial pop or and stuff like that for me it was way too traditional I, I like when they put traditional instruments to like modern pop songs but this was like 
it took me to way, way back where I, I really want, don't want to go anymore. Uh, and for me, it, it's good to see that people really seem to like it. And I see, I think that the Russian people will like it also. But for me, it's, I, I just can't feel it. And it doesn't make me happy at all. It gives me really annoying. Well, hey, 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 ho, 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 Sammy, move on to your number two. I'm uh, talking about commercial pop. This is my absolute guilty pleasure when it comes to um, the Belarusian selection. My uh, number two is We Should Be Together by Angelika Pushnova. This is so early 2000s and this is like, it's it's not really right now, but it's it, it's a good way to go back to uh, like my elementary school years where this kind of music was really popular. Uh, of course, this also needs a really big revamp, but for me, it's 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 an, it's not like really old in a bad way, but it, it's kind of retro in a good way, but not from too um, long ago. And I, I think this, if we get it to Eurovision, it might do something like it doesn't win, but it might make things to final because if we know, all know that Belarusian um, delegation always put a good show, so they could build something um, innovative and funny to this um, show. So maybe this could make it to final, but I can't see it doing really well in there. Yeah, this is very 2007, so it makes it one of the more modern songs that we have in Belarus. But I happen to like that Euro trash feel. This is the one that goes, we should be together! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Israel, Lydia, Iza, you know what I'm saying? This is like Moldova pre-selection, um, but it's not a bad thing. I think this is kind of pre-jury Eurovision. You had this kind of ethnic dance, well, not that it's yeah. ethnic, this is club, clubby Euro trash song. But it's fun. It was my number four, actually, so I'm glad you brought it up. Um, I think she can sing it as well. Like, you don't need to have the best voice to sing this, but she has a good voice and she can sing this. You know, if this went to Eurovision, I think it might struggle to make the final. Moldova in recent years has always been on the border, aka not, or not qualifying or finishing last, like Chris Starlet. But, you know, you're right. They can put on a good stage show. They didn't do it with Uzari and Maimuna. They didn't do it with Teo. But who's to say they won't do it here? In any case, Nisha. You know, I really struggle to remember what the song is. I, I just, I, I listen to you, uh, you talking about it, and just, what was it? So, that's probably not a good sign. <laughs> no. My number two is New Techie. take my heart, take it. They, of course, are veterans of this. They've got massive fans in Belarus, all throughout, you know, the East. This has a light sound vibe. It reminds me of We Are Heroes, but better. I think this is one of those songs, it's like, it could make the final. I don't think it's gonna win Eurovision. It's not at that level, even if it gets a revamp. But it has a very radio-friendly, mainstream, modern sound. This, you could hear this in another national selection. So yes, it's in Belarus, but you could hear this, you know, in one of the more modern national selections. I'm not gonna say it would necessarily win there, but you know, yeah, this is a valid effort. It's got that electro EDM vibe mixed with rock. It's trying to ride the current trends, and I think it does it okay. Plus the singer is very good looking. He's very charismatic in the video. He says, you know, take my hand, I'll take your hand, I'll take something else, I'll take your heart, take, I'll take it all. He's just, he's very inviting and warm and talented. And they've, they've got money. That music video, this is one of the more expensive, perhaps the most expensive production. Um, I think they would take Eurovision seriously. They would do the promo tour. They would be good representatives of Belarus. Absolutely. Oh, we all agree on something, yes! So, it is finally time for our number one, our favorite in Belarus, Misha. Well, my number one, he came, and, uh, he came out there with a book, opened it and started reading a poem, you know. In the middle of the song, creating a special atmosphere, yet giving me a feeling that he has to learn the text by heart. It was an important story of my life. I remember it. I'm playing subway and changing the place you know, all people standing around of a musician, nobody moving, nobody didn't know who is me. Well, 
I I really liked I really liked the song. I really like how he sings it. I really like uh, it's why it gi it's giving me. But I I really feel that that attacks that for a poem part. Just something is not there. He needs to learn it. I had a feeling that he just was reading it, and I guess he was. <laughs> yeah, you did a very good impression actually because <laughs> you know I'm gonna stand here and read. As a performer, you need to perform. So I think he could add something, as you say there, to take it to the next level. But I'm 100% sure that it can be reworked and you can work on everything, both on pronunciation, on singing, and I think it can stand out overall. I think it, it has a potential even to win in Belarus and make the final of Eurovision. There are moments I get worried. I get a Peter Nalich vibe, Russia 2010. But this is less cheap. Something with Peter Nalich was just, it didn't work. You know, lost and forgotten. He's like, oh, I do not forget you. If he can overcome that creepiness, I agree with you totally. And the book thing, I I kind of like it. It can be a show element. Like I don't mind him bringing the book to the show, but just like it was like that that he just. Yeah read the thing on the um, audition, he has to make it that way that we see that he knows the words what he's reading and really um, like bring some emotion out of just instead of just reading it without any emotion or with any feeling to the um, text. But you know if you look at uh, most of the uh, poets who read uh, their poems uh, somewhere on tapes, they usually don't use any books, they just stand there and try to deliver the message what they're trying to say. So I think the book might be distracting on stage, but yeah, I, I agree that it can be an element of a show. I was on subway, I hear noise, people stand in line, I have no ticket. Yeah, we're calling this poetry, I'm calling this random gibberish, but give him a lyricist <laughs> and they will work with him. And by the way, Misha, I love your Christmas tree. Yeah, thank you. Sometimes it looks like you're wearing an earring, but it's a bobble from the tree. <laughs> In any case. Same. Well, I do also wear an earring. <laughs> yeah, I'm wearing Jamala, so I can't really. <laughs> <laughs> Sammy, number one. Uh, my number one is Noteki with Take My Heart. This is the most modern song in the selection by far. Belarus doesn't really ha don't have any modern songs in their selections, and this was really like it was nice to see something modern. Just like you said, you could see this in any other selection as well. Maybe not this version. They really need to work on it, and I I have a faith in them because they have the production team. They their music video was really expensive, uh, so I, I I believe that they can do something with song. Um, of course, it's it, it when. Compared to like Swedish songs, it's not that modern. So in Eurovision, it wouldn't be like it wouldn't be among my favorites for sure. But in this selection, it's not my number one. Do you think they can do it? I mean, putting our personal tastes aside, do you think there's support out there for Nuteki? Um, I, I I don't know. They have fans, and I think uh, like light sound one in Belarus, so it's like similar type of music and if they can do it, why not um, Noteki, especially when they have more fans in there. I don't know if it's like, I don't know who is voting in Belarus, are the fans voting more or just like normal people, so if the normal people voting, I think they're going for Navi more than Noteki, but if really the fans are the ones who are deciding the winner, then I think Noteki is more uh, likely to win. You know, also our review blogger Robin has recently posted in our group some video of uh, fans from all over the world support, uh, supporting Muteki. So, and she noted that uh, there is a huge following and uh, in huge support from Portugal, which is, may seem kind of weird. Yeah. But it's out there, so I believe that they can make it. Building bridges, hashtag come together. Now, I love that we just talked about Nuteki because this leads to my number one. I see this as a battle between Nuteki and hey, 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 ho, 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 Navajo, Navi, honey, yes! They 
to our veterans of Belarus's national selection. They're bringing something with soul. To me, this is a battle between New Techie, the gloss, the production, and then Navi, something a bit more fun, authentic, and, you know, with a soul. It's mixing that indigenous Belarus sound, which apparently exists, with hey, 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 ho, 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 ho down Oklahoma. I'm talking Oklahoma City to Belarus, honey. This is like transatlantic in the strangest way, but I really like it. There are shades of Nadezhda Misyakova from Belarus Junior Eurovision. There are shades of, you know, rodeo. Get me a bull, let me ride, I'll play a tambourine. But there's also a party element, because she's like, hey, hey, ho, 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 ho. I don't know, this is a lot of things, is what I'm trying to say, and it's all very positive and very feel good and instantly memorable. Because it does, I can remember New Techie sound, and like after a second, I'm like, oh yeah, that's the one. But Navi, instantly, I get it. And I also think the lead singer is beautiful, and I think that, you know, let's face it, Eurovision fans love a beautiful woman standing on stage. Some people have criticized the male vocalist, but I don't think he's bad. I think they work well together. I think they know each other. I like the spirit of the music video. It's very Pocahontas having a stroll, you know, talking to the birds, colors of the wind, all of that. I just, this song makes me very happy, and I've heard it maybe 10 or 15 times, and it still makes me kind of giggle and smile and laugh, and, you know, that's a lot more uplifting than t Time is Like Thunder, oh, 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 and like the cheesecake, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I'm like verbally masturbating at this point. I love this song. And do you prefer it to, to their last year's entry? Yes, and the reason is I can't remember last year's entry, <laughs> which says a lot, whereas I don't think I'll forget, hey, Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Now, Misha, you're Russian. I'm curious. Does this have a sort of, does this feel like a, what's the word, an authentic traditional sound from like Russia, Belarus, or is it manufactured? Well, you know, it's, uh, it's not like some kind of traditional cultural, but, mm. well, in a way it is, uh, but it's more like, you know, spiritual well not spiritual that's the wrong word but somewhat uh countryside vibe uh yeah i i can feel russian belarus out of it because okay. i i can feel the nature i i, I can feel the um the fun in the village <laughs> like, yeah um when you asked about if we it was better than the last year's song. For me, the last year's song was one of my favorites in the national selection, and now they are one of my least favorites, so I think there's a big difference. I think, for me, the uh, critical part is just that, that it gets so annoying that even, like, it's uplifting to hear the hey, hey, but for some people like me, it's really, like, it's too much. They should come up with some new ideas towards the end of the song. There's just too much of that, trying to bring the audience to the performance even I think it doesn't work in Eurovision. I, I can't see the crowd sing along to this in the audience. To me, did you see Pocahontas, the animated Disney film? You've got that tree who sings, listen with your heart. This has that tribal element, except it's a lot more fun. And it's speaking to that like, you know, I'm sure that way back when we're all descended from the Native Americans, well, those of us from North America, and I'm feeling something in my soul when she sings. Um, not that Navajo music and Belarusian music are remotely similar, but in any event, any event. Well, that's what we think. What do you think? Our Navi, Nuteki, and what's his name, Misha? Nikita Kodas. Your favorites to win? You can let us know here on Wee Wee Vlogs. And don't forget to subscribe. And like if you like the video. See you later. <laughs> Bye. Bye.